Hey, what's up? How are you doing? So, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial here, we are going to be building Twitter curl using Tail with CSS. All right, so this is for this is a tutorial for beginners or those that make use of Tail CSS and just want to see how this is actually achieved. So, this is where we're going to be make learning how to use grid, flex, how to use divider that creates this type of nine, horizontal and vertical. We're going to be learning how to Create fixed bottom like this stuff. Like my name here that is fixed to the bottom, and the messages here that is fixed to the bottom. And we are gonna be learning how to like set some specific size for the for the flex and you know spacing and the other stuff. Alright, so without further ado, let's just dive into it. Alright, so welcome to this section. So this place today is where we're gonna be picking our two CSS that we're gonna be using. So you can see we have ways of installing the CSS using the Tweet CLI or using a uh, CSS. And if you, uh, you would make use of um, framework, you can look at how to install them on the framework you're using. But this tutorial here, we're going to be using CDL, which is content delivery network that hosts Tweet CSS on the internet that allows us to be able to use it without any further installation. All right, so we just need the use of the internet to be able to just use it. So this is what we're going to be using. So let's just open this page down. Let's go ahead and create a new folder. I'm going to create a folder. So I like storing my projects in a folder. I'm going to create a folder called Tweet. I'm going to open this up. There, right here, I'm going to do CMD. So I'm opening that folder in the terminal. And I'm going to do code dots. So this is actually going to open the folder for me um, in um, Visual Studio Code. And yeah, it's on my other screen. So I'm just going to grab it real quick to this place. I'm using white mode, light mode, I mean. So, yeah, nothing special actually. So, let us go ahead and do index.html. So, with this done, I want to open up this with live server. So, if you don't have live server installed, go to your extensions and search for live server. All right, so just search for live server. You're, you're going to see live server here. Just, just go ahead and install it. All right, so with time, um, please, I want you to be able to bear with me that. I have a student network here, so it might it might take some time for it to load up, but actually just bear with me and or you can just watch the video like 1.5x to make it more faster. So let's open this with live server. If you have live server, so just open with live server or just alt a plus alt o. It's gonna open with live server here. So this is gonna open it in the browser for me. You can see it has opened, it is empty. So I'm gonna copy this, head over back to Visual Studio Code. Which is this? So I'm just gonna paste this and save. So if I should save now, then I go back to the browser. It is supposed to auto auto refresh, it, but it's not auto refreshing because we don't have the HTML stuff we need before. We just loaded it. But now if I should head over back there, like let's say I remove this and I save this, it's gonna refresh that from you can see. And just remove yes, this is probably because of the live server we installed. All right, now. How do we know that the window has been actually installed there? You can look at this where we have on the line, we have font board and we have text of the Excel. Because if I should go ahead and just write in each one here, say hello, I should save this and I add over here. I can see the difference here. So this is the window here and this is just the normal stuff. You can see the window actually removed all the attributes of the each one. So you need to like style it to your own text to use it. All right, and other way you want to know, you can know that it has actually been booted up. Is go ahead and hit F12 or Control Shift I. F12 or Control Shift I, and send the click on the network tab, refresh, refresh this. And you see CDN or Tumi CSS has been loaded up. All right, good. So, with that aside, so let's just get started. I want you to know that this is not responsive actually, this is just for desktop mode. It's a little bit responsive on mobile. I can't lie because it's like this on mobile. You can see it's just the desktop mode on mobile, but it takes the required space. Using the required space doesn't like overlap or do whatever or whatever. But right, I will for that. Let's just dive into it. So I'm just gonna close this. So I'm gonna put this one so I can make reference to this one. So what I'm gonna do is head over back. Just gonna delete this. And then I'm trying to open my other screen. Okay, so the first one I do is let's get a crazy div. 
So this div, I want this div to house all of the things I need. So you can notice that we have one, two, three. The lines one, two, three. So we need to create a flex of that three of that three or more like a row. I think it's row. Or it is column. I don't know. I don't know the words. I think it's row. So we need to create a flex for it. So let's go ahead and do that. So inside let's do class the cost of flex. So flex, they want to specify that yeah, it is row. So we want to specify flex row. So once this is that, we can save this. And yeah, you got you, you actually got it. Nothing happens. So let's go ahead and specify div here. So div one, we're going to say hello. We're gonna do this two more times. You know, we have this. We're gonna do two more two more times. Just gonna copy this. Save this, but should refresh. I can see we have them in the flex mode. You can see they're actually flex because if it is not flex, they're supposed to be like they're supposed to be like on top of each other. They can say like this, but well, since we added a place so they are vertical, right? Nice. So, since we've done this, we need to specify some space. So, for each of these two class, we want, and let me just show you some reference. So, let's go to the documentation. Let's add about so flex, flex basis. So utility for controlling the initial size of an of a flex item. This is what we are going to be making so you can say specify the size and you can say the O3 as one of our two, which is like the longest one. One of our one of our four is the shortest. So I think it's I think you understand what I'm trying to point out here. All right, so let's continue. Uh, for the first one, let's buy our specify to be base basis of one over five. One over five, then I want to add a background color of red. So red 500. So this is saying BG is background. They want the color should be red. Then the shade should be 500. So we have shade of color from 100 to 900. So I'm picking 500. I want to specify text white. Okay. Specify text white. I want to go ahead and add a shadow to it. Shadow MD and rounded. And they want it to be rounded or end the medium size. We just have surrounded, so I should save this now. Sorry, MD. I should save this now, and I check that out. You can see, yeah, we have this size here, which is one over five. And let's go ahead and add another size here, so we can copy this. We'll copy this class. Paste instead of using the red one over five. Let's do one over two because we want this to be the longest one. And let's do blue here. So let's get and copy this one also. Class like that. And let's do this one should be one of our four. And let's do green. Save this. We should refresh. Now you can see we have what we need. I said blue. Okay, this is not blue. B L U E blue. Save. But now exactly what we need. You can see we have. The blue taking the right space and um, the rest taking the right space, just like expected there. So what we can go ahead and do now is add padding of four. Uh, let's go ahead and add another padding of four. So that is like giving it padding all around the air. Then I say padding is now provided around it. Good. So with that away, um, let's get started by building the the middle one. So I'm just gonna call this. With uh, me, and let's close this. All right, so let's start building that. See you in the next section. All right, so the first we want to do is this stuff. So this is actually flex, yeah, because they try it. So let's go ahead and use flex. Um, yeah, so in this hello, let's just go ahead and delete it. Hello, what the first one I do is have a div with the flex inside. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Yeah, this is a um, Google and um, GitHub Copilot, so I can just ignore it. I'm not going to be for it. We're going to build it this from scratch ourselves. So let's go ahead and have a span. So that span, I want it to be a large text, a large text with font of semi bold. So on the font, we actually semi bold. So in there, let's go ahead and do O. 
save save that and you notice so uh, sorry you notice the next thing we need here is this star icon so to get an icon let's go ahead to heroesicon.com so this heroes icon is actually built by the makers of team css so let's get us to search for star and this is it right here and meanwhile you can see we have the home which is bold and large let's go back to the stuff and yeah under here let's just paste it here save this and you notice oh yeah this is the reason of the bad network let's just explain what's going on you can see the flex just picks the tags that are next because if i should group these two in a tag in, um sorry if i should group these two in a like in a div we are going to be grouped as we want so we need to have specify another tag to break them okay show okay this is flex but since we have two tags like this so this is creating a flex between the two tags right so like this close but we want them to be spaced so what we are going to be using there is called something called justify between so we are going to make use of justify between this is going to give them the appropriate size to go between them all right so since that is loading up let's take a look at um, a little thing we can do i'm just gonna go back here and let's see now you can see we have home and we have this exactly what we need so the next thing we need to do is add our picture so it is add my picture so i have this i got my picture from twitter actually so if you follow me on twitter if you want to yeah so i follow me on twitter if you actually want to so i grab this my profile picture from twitter i am on dev precious okay so i grab it from twitter i'm just gonna close that so let's get and start building that so after the div then right under here we want to have another div so this div is gonna be flex also but it's gonna have a padding top of two so we want the space from the stuff the home and the star we want the space from the home and the star good nice so what i'm gonna do is i just like i like grouping my image in a, in a div so i'm just gonna group this in a div so i'm gonna do yeah you can see this as my twitter picture already so i'm just gonna accept this so you can go ahead and grab your twitter picture so if i should save this head over there back so you should head back to the page waiting for it to load okay the image really seems to load let's actually refresh this again because i don't i don't know what is wrong with this i don't know if the image i'm grabbing is wrong so i'm just gonna grab it from my other screen I'm just gonna grab this one from here. Right about here. And let me check this out. Yeah, so it, I think it's a wrong image I'm grabbing. So uh, why would you recommend me recommend me a wrong image too? Because I think it's my image here. So save this, refresh. Yeah, you can see we have my picture right here. So we can just make sure we specify. Oh wow! So he specified what we needed already. So I don't want that. So what we want to do is make it a width of fourteen. They want it to be rounded, not MD rounded full. So we want a full rounded image. All right. So we can better save this. Uh, is it is it gonna be the same store board? It's going to be a little bit wider. And so it's gonna be the same stuff. All right, good. So next we need to do is the text here. So we need to do the text. So let's head over back to the text. They are gonna do the text like right under. Yes, so let's do input. Input with text. So we want to get a passing some stuff. Let's do class. That should be let's do of course should be outline of norm i'm gonna explain this very soon so let's do place so that so that so you want the place so that to be text of large so you want the place so that to be like a text that's extra large so place so that again I'm just gonna check this out place so that okay so place so that i want to specify the text should be gray of shade of 400 
Then we want to pull what. So you, I, we want it to be full. Then right there, we can go ahead and copy the Twitter stuff, which is which is actually words plain. Okay, so save this and let's check it out. So I will explain what is actually going on. Good. So you can see we have that in that place. So the other way it's going on is that the meaning of this W full is saying we want the weight to, to be full width. So taking all taking all the space, then we want the place of our text to be three or four hundred. You can see the place of our text is three or four hundred. We want the place of our text to be eight. You can see it's large. All right, then we said focus at line no meaning if i should click on this you you will not be able to see any border i can see when i clicked on this brother i can see this blue border no so you can see i clicked on it there's no border our text is actually white so that's why we can see anything that is being passed on the screen all right so we are going to be doing that's why we add a black color the black color to it for the you know you know we are building a dark mode for twitter all right so so, so since we've done that let's move down a bit to be and let's do div dot padding top of let's specify the padding top should be two okay so we want this space so in that space we're not building this okay head over back there all right so once we're there what we're gonna do is div dot this should be a grid we want to be a padding left of 14. So we want it to be padding left of 14. They want this divide y. So this divide y is what that is going to create this line for us. And the padding left of 14 is this space that is here. So we want this space to match the y is happening. Good. All right. So let's get and have a div. So inside the div, we want to have another div. So div flex. They want to specify space x of two. Meaning of space x is like space horizontally should be two. So if I have um, some some stuff in there, it's gonna give it a, a, a space of two actually. Right? So let's go ahead and continue. So what the first one I have is is this word stuff. So let's go ahead and pick it up. Let's search for it. This is it right here. Go back here. You should studio code, paste this. Then down below, really want to have span dot text blue should be 500. We want to have everyone, everyone can reply. All right, so we're going to have one of text blue of 500. Save this. I love that back there. Wait for this to load up. All right, so you can see it's loaded up, but we cannot see anything. But it is actually yeah, well, because our text is blue, we can't see anything. I'm just gonna give this. So let's specify another color here. Let's do yellow so as to see what we are building. So yellow, save this. It's for this to load again. All right, good. So you can see we're gonna, we're gonna have this and this right here. So let's continue. All right, so since we've done that. Let's get a come over here. Another thing. So the next one I do is uh this stuff with all these ones are there and this button here. So let's go ahead and do that. Um we're gonna do div dots. So this is like a quick way to just add classes to your stuff. This is image. So you can go ahead and search for image and follow up a tutorial on it. So let's do part top of theory. You want to have them to be like justify between. And you see what I was trying to explain in the previous part. So justify between um coming. So we have justify between we're gonna have uh, we're gonna specify this in the div. So div should be flex dot space x of two. So you can see I said flex. So because of that flex, if I should go ahead and add like the SVG of everything. So it's gonna be like we are not gonna do just five between because it's going to like space everything. We want to group like five elements together as one div, then you want to justify it between another div. So that is the idea of how the flex work. So the other div is gonna be actually here. It's going to be actually a which is gonna be a button. So let's do div. So let's do button. 
So that button class is gonna be class. We want it to be rounded full. Background color should be blue. Five hundred. Let's okay. Let's do three hundred. Text. That should be color white. We want to give it an height of ten and a width of twenty. Width of twenty. You want to do over should be background color of blue 500 then yeah so that is i think this is uh what should be here follow <laughs> i'm not sure this folder is supposed to be yeah i think i think it's going to be tweaked so this the we are just saying the round one important to be rounded full so full circle by the default the color should be 300 one the text should be white and height of 10 width of 20 then we'll see when we over it like this, we want the color to change to a darker version of blue. So let's save this and check that out. Save. Even my visual still put takes time to save. All right, now you can see what I'm saying. Okay, so if I should go there and over here, you can see this is what I'm saying. Good, so let's go ahead and do this one. So we need some icons. So the first icon we need is this image. So I think it's photographic. So which is this one? So save this paste one. So this is actually simple. We need another one. So I'm gonna say image or I don't even know I caught it that day. I don't know how I got it, but I think it's made. Let's do message. Okay, so I use this inbox. But the next one we need is yeah, so I used <laughs> settings. Which is adjustment. So just gonna copy and paste that. The next one I need, I did what is smiley face. So let's just smile. And the next one I did was uh, this time and location. Time. And yes, the location is beside it. Copy that also. Save this. Head over there, wait for this to load up, and yes, you can see we have that on the screen. You can see that justifying from this one that is actually over here. Okay, well, we need to specify the colors, we need to specify the colors of the text blue. So, I'm just gonna select all it, click on the first part, then hold on, alt, click on where you want the pointers to be at. So, in order to be at that side. So you can go ahead and edit all of them together. There is blue 500. Save this. And yeah, so we can add a text attribute to it. So an SVG is treated as a text, I think. So yeah, we can do that. Good. So this is done already. You can see this automatically adds a slide for us. So we want to go ahead and add this show 25 tweet. So like that part has been done. Yeah, let's go ahead and do something to this like class. I want it to be flex. Items should be center, justify, center. Because if you look at this, it's not is is I think it's not like a little bit like center or so, but I don't know if I'm actually seeing the trouble. I'm just gonna add this there to to just skip that part. Okay. So let's let me scroll down so you can see this. Um yeah, so when this is done, so when that is done, I'm just gonna close all this so I can see what I'm doing next. Good. So under here, so yeah, so I continue from under here. All right, so good. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna save this and yeah. So let's go ahead and continue. So the next thing I'm gonna do is have uh, a div padding top of two padding top of two. Then I want to have a div of border. So we want a straight line. So we will not specify anything. Just a straight line. Then we want to have div padding top of also. So yeah, all right. Yeah, so without a line, let's go down again and do div dot 
polite thoughts. So item center. So we want to center the text. I said center just justify center. Then let's just span. Sorry. Span should be text blue 500. And let's show 254 tweets. So if I should save this and we check that out. You can see we have it here. I see we have it here. Cool. I'm just going to put this to apps capital letter. All right, good. And once that is done, we can just like copy this and let's just paste it here. I think so. So I think reverse is the case. So let's paste it here. All right, save. And we should have another line under here. Yeah. So we can begin doing this. So that won't take, take time actually. Uh, with that out of the way, so let's head back to the next part, which is building the content. So we can just do content here. So now the content, we want to have the IV padding left of 14. So we want it to align with, uh, with this part here, as you can see. Okay, so 14. That the padding left of oh yeah okay yeah I can see we don't want the padding left of button yet so you want to have sorry let's just have a div that holds everything so we want to have a div that holds everything we want to have div flex the padding touch with two they want a space of x around them around them good so we want to have the image. So I'm just gonna grab the image from somewhere here. Okay, so the image. So the image here, good. All right, so once that is done, I want to do span. So this one also have a class of font should be semi bold so instead of like being being very very bold i want to be semi bold i want to have my name here i want to copy this like three times okay three times they want to have we want to have a uh, the precious which is my username so if i look that up i'll follow me on twitter if you want to they want to have dot 45 minutes 45 Minute ago, save this and yeah. So, if you check this out, you can see we have this now. Now, it's making sense. So, next, what I'll do is under that, we cannot have the padding left of 14. Instead of flex, we want this to be a grid, so they are going to be like stacking on, on top of each other. Let's just span. So, we want to have span trying to figure out something here. Okay, good. Span this is going to be this, so you just added a span there. This they want to do div rounded should be md. So we want to specify border. We want to do padding of four. Good. So we are trying to build this retweet feature here. Twitter. Good. So we can go ahead and uh, again I'm passing my image since I don't want to pick anybody image for on Twitter or so. So let's get and do the div again. So this time I want to be div flex. Once a space again, x of two. Yeah, let's get and grab my picture again. Copy that. Or you can grab your picture, whatever, or anything you want to use. Then under the div, let's go down. Let's do span. Want to have font thing. So font thing is like a very very light text. So want to say new user so this is i'm retweeting what the new user said and we're going to do span again span dot another font thing so font is going to be like dot one hour ago save this refresh yeah you can see we've done the retweets it's making sense and uh, yeah i want to specify the text of the user you can see we are kind of lost because it's supposed to be a flex 
and we are having them up down to each other so let's look at what we are doing wrong here so this base is supposed to be flex so i have flex span span okay so yeah so we need to cut we, we don't need to actually cut let's just add a div here so that is is not just for the images for everything and um, yeah you can see we are already messing this up um let's try to format this save this i'm trying to figure out what is wrong am i missing another day so let me try i close it save Save. wait for this to reload yeah so i was missing another day now you've gotten this i'm just gonna format this to make it readable Control shift p format make sure you have pretty installed so i've formatted that already good so we've done that one so see, since we've done that next one of these under the diff under this flex kind of stuff i'm just gonna close this and under here i'm gonna do div so let's do lorem of eight save this and to be done with the retweeting picture yeah simple as abc so we are done with that already good so so we've done with that uh so i'm just gonna like close this all right and let's go ahead and do the image parts okay so the for the image parts we just need to get down here no 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 i'm trying to okay so i think this is it so get down here and let's do yes parent top of two we want it to be divided so we want to border yes so we want the border and i'm just gonna copy I'm just gonna copy everything so let's let's cut this so let's cut that it should not be outside the div i want it inside the div so like before the div closes so which is that side so i want to have this here yes, save and let's see what i'm having okay good they want to buy that have all this copy this just gonna push this aside okay paste this save refresh yeah so we are having this good so what we're gonna do is instead of those stuff instead of that one we're gonna this this i'm gonna turn to like i actually haven't played this game and uh, yeah it's just showing you like i have not been i have i have not played the game uh yeah so i have uh yeah so i have that so i'm gonna pick the picture of uh the picture of the picture of them the image that i use so we don't need this yeah so we don't need this so after the rounded the only thing we need is let's just go ahead and delete this let's do div dots we actually don't need okay yeah we need a rounded so we always do div dot flex dot space actually two okay let's make it theory so it's actually theory so also have the image i'm just gonna grab the image as i'll see here copy this don't worry i'll upload this to github so you can also follow along then i want to specify a little class so our class is the only class i'm going to specify to this one is just rounded md which is rounded medium so save this refresh yeah good so you can see we have this now yeah so i i don't i don't need this border so let me just take away this border seems a little bit too weird with the border yep so let's take away that and yeah so we have exactly we have here good so the next minute is this stuff that is actually here so i i guess this here is simple as abc so like under after all this div here so we want to go ahead and have div should be flex 
let dot justify between justify between so we want the comments the tweet and the stuff that are there so let's get a search for that so we want comment so I, I think i use this one yes so we want that comment so let's go and do um comment we want the retweet Retweet, refresh. So I use the refresh for it. We need the art. Art. So copy the art. Then we need. We need that symbol. So I remember that symbol is upload. Copy this. No, we also need the last one, which is I think I call it a search for stats. Yes. So save this and let's check it out. Good. So down here you can see we have it. So I'm just gonna copy it. Copy. Then I'm gonna go back to the first one. Uh what is it? First one. I think this is it. This is it. Yeah. Yeah. So that is it. Yes. I'm just gonna use this under a save and let's see what we have. Yeah, good. So we have that. Um we can go ahead and specify something like DIP padding top of two. So we need a space from it. Yeah, nice. So you can see we've done the main section so let's move to the sidebar this side where we have home explore and let's start building that side and yeah so this side here is not actually a big deal it's just some basic things we need to do right so let's head over back to code which is right here so i'm just gonna close this twitter main we can name this like let's say sidebar left okay so let's open this up let's delete this good so since so the data i want them to be agree so we, to be stacked upon each other each other so i want to sp space their y by y so this is spacing horizontally with padding of eight All right so i also want a space vertical which is of four good so the next thing we need to do is just grab um Let's first grab the SVG for the first one. Why is this? <laughs> so let's grab the SVG for the first one. I think which is that message because I don't have the Twitter SVG yet. So let's do message. So let's do. Oh, sorry. I'm just gonna plug this and get back. All right. So you can see I've actually plugged in already. All right. So the stuff we need is this stuff. So let's start for chat, which is this one. Copy this. Head back to our code. I'm gonna paste this and save this and uh, let's take a look at what we have so let's refresh you know since uh, my system actually went up so i need to refresh and yeah i need to specify h and this one should be eight all right good so once this is done the next thing i gonna do is now let's make a div of flex but that flex should be a space of x between them but the first one i have is is the logo which is going to be over so let's get a half home copy this one and let's get a those and not span actually d should be flex so we want them to be like centered together so then justify center so you can get a have a span that is text of extra large and let's do h o m e which is home so save this check that out so this is already loading now you can see we have this but you can notice that these are aligned and this one is not aligned so the we fix i recommended for this is like let me just cut this and let's do div padding left of um padding left of four save this and yeah so they are together now got 
So we need to specify this to be eight. So I'm just gonna copy that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just gonna copy that seven times. So let's copy this. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Save. Uh, let's refresh this. Yeah, so we have home, home, home. The next one we need is the explore. So let's hashtag. So let's go up. I don't know. So is this one. Eight. Make sure it changes to eight. And this is explore. Let's need is notification. Notification, bell, web pen. <laughs> so let's get our doing notifications. Notifications, replace the SVG and the size. So you can do, I'm, I'm going to show you what I did now. So once the message, remember the message is a mail. Is it mail? Or uh, I think it's the chat. Uh, there's a message. Okay, inbox. All right. So which is this one? Messages. So let me teach you what I did. I like to delete it and do control G. So it's going to select the duplicate. Save that. So that message, you want to have bookmark, list, and profile. So there's a bookmark, which is this one. Uh, I'm not sure if I did the right. I think I copied it again. Copy, paste. Okay, good. So it's eight, and this is bookmark. And let's see how this is turning out already. Okay, nice, making sense. So we need list profile more. List. Uh, list. List profile. And this should be more. Okay. So for this, I'm going to go to list profile more. Let us do list. Let's pick this one. Let's go back to this place. Paste this. Eight. Okay. And then you want profile. So let's do profile. No. Let's do user. Copy the user driver back here. Paste. Set the height to be eight. Then we want more. We want more. Copy this. Add over back to paste eight. Save this. It's not possible. So that means we like we need to reload this ourselves. Okay, that we don't need to reload. Now you can see we have this on the screen. Good. Okay, so let's get on do this tweet button. All right, so let's do the tweet button. The tweet button should like also be like under under the stuff. So let's go back here. So like under here, let's do button dot rounded should be full dot background color should be blue. 500 the text should be white dot text should be center once you give it a pattern of four so there'll be like a space to bridge between it so let's type in switch save this save this and um that's it so let's refresh the and Let's wait for this to load the sound. Yeah, so you can see we have tweets right here. Good.
So this is working. The next one I'll do is this stuff here that is fixed. This one here. All right. All right. So I've actually gotten rid of that issue. So let's continue. So what I'm going to do is now this part here. Okay. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. Where we have tweet. And then right under, under this div. So right under this div. Um, yes, we want to have a div that is of a block. So I want this to be a block. I want this to be fixed. I want it to be fixed. So fixed like it's not going to be moved. It's, like it's not going to move. Well, so we want it to be fixed. Then we want insert. Insert of X should be zero. They will want the bottom. So we want the bottom should be zero. That means we want it to be at the last bottom of this frame. They want the Z index should be O, like just like comma, so we can see it. All right, good. So since that is that, what we want to have now is um, uh, sorry. So we are gonna have the flex. So that flex, we want to have space should be X of two. Then if they want to have a div, so that div. I'm to go ahead and grab my picture again. So let's go ahead and grab my picture. Just gonna grab it there. Okay, so because in the image, okay. then down here, I want to have a div. So once this grid, we want a grid inside flex. So we just want all these ones to stack on top of each other. So we want a span. So that span is going to be font board. Sorry. Font font board sorry so oh god i think so that i have to remove this of github copilot i'm just gonna add my name here personal delay and i'm gonna do so as equals to font board all right so let me just copy this and this is going to be font thing once thing and here is gonna be at your precious. Save this and check your browser for this to load up. Um yeah, so let's wait for this to load up. Um so it's, it's, all right now good you can see it has loaded up. I can see it is fixed, it's not moving and it is right there. So we've done that part. So let's go ahead and do the last part, which is this place here. Okay, let's add over back at the top. Over here, then the below here. Yeah, so this is what I'm gonna do. So let's delete the hello. So coming, just trying to figure out what I want to do here. I guess so. What I wanna have nice is I have div. So one this div should be relative. If you know if you actually use CSS, you know what relative though, because I'm not actually protected div, I only just thing with them. I'm actually a backend dude. So I don't know like the CSS very well. So you say grade of six hundred. So you want them to be like focus within. So focus within should not be text gray of 600 of less to 400. 400 and let's do span dot absolute. So since we add absolute, that means we can be able to move what we want to move. So let's do insert y o this horizontal left should be o. So we want it to be at the left. Flex, they want to do item center with a padding left of two. So you see what I'm trying to do now. They want to have a button. Let's make it submit. So in the class, I want to have padding of one. Focus should be outline. Outline none. So we don't want any outline. So we want to focus 
should be shadow outline focus should be shadow outline but then in there we want the search svg so it's gonna like you can go ahead and copy the search svg i'm just gonna copy from here I'm gonna paste it here so now i'll put this to github so there's no special class you just width and height that is there it's just like the regular UI icons all right then just right here we want to have our input field which is going to be class of padding horizontal four rounded should be full text inside should be small the text should be color white background color no, let's leave background color now we don't need the background color yet so we'll add we'll do the background color very soon we want it to be um padding left of 10 focus should be outline on focus should be bg white our focus should be text text of white i know this seems like a lot of class but we just have to write this okay not text white okay um it's just text gray 600 just save this and let's check what we have yeah so this is what we have now so what we're gonna do what we miss there is we want to specify w full to take all the whole space and yeah so we can see we have to be full now but now the reason we did that is just to have this search in our input field okay since that is that then So right under here, I want to have DIV padding top of theory. Padding top of theory, then want to have DIV dot rounded LG. So rounded LG with a padding of four. But so let's give the background colors a PG red, 500. Okay, so I want to have D. So inside I want to have flex, they want to have just it five. Just the five between so you want to have span dots. That should be Excel trends for you. So we are building out this part here. So let me just go ahead and grab a settings icon, which is this cog. As we have trends for you, trends for you, then under here, let us get up. We start in here. Save this and let's take a look at what we have. Good. So you can see we have this. All right. So we are done with that part. So we are done with this part. Then down here, we can go ahead and have EIV padding top of four. Padding top of four. We can have DIV do it. So we want this to sit upon to stack upon each other space y of six. Okay, good. So inside us inside our grid, we want a flex. So we want a flex. So the first flex is going to be div dot div dot flex dot justify between let's find between so once a grid again so you want them to stack upon each other on top of each other i mean it's going to be font thing dot text sm so sm is text small so once a small text so let's do sports sport trending okay so under the sports trending we want to have like two more and we can just have both 
I'm just gonna do messy. I, I I know I I know it is the greatest of all time. Yeah, we, you don't need to tell me. Twelve thousand three four five. Let's do sweets. Okay, so save this and let's check that out. Good. So we are we are doing this already. It's making sense. So what we want to do is, uh, then after that we want to have div. DIV, then we need the icon of like I think dot three the three dots. Copy this, paste, save this, check that out. Yeah, good. So we have that. So we can just get and copy that. Is it really one, two, one, two, three, four? So let's copy that four times. Which is this one. One, two, three, sorry. Three, four. Save this. Refresh. Good. So we've done that part. So we can go ahead and just edit it as we want. So I can do trending in Nigeria. Yes, of course, I'm trending in Nigeria. Trending in Nigeria. Precious and daily. Yeah, we have, let's say we have 126 tweet about me. So we have, let's just do Cristiano, yeah. Cristiano, let's do politics. Politics, uh, um, trending, and let's have our president's name, Nigeria president, actually. Buhari, and the last one yeah, I can just do is sport. Yeah, it's my team. GPS. Yes, I moved. I moved to PSG because of this. Let's see this, <laughs> and let's take a look at that. Yeah, there it is. Good. So the next we need to do is this show more, and we have this follow stuff here. So let's just do the show more. So that is the that that the well done. It would so once we can just like just do div dot flex. We don't need the flex, but you can just put it there. Have the flex a, a tag that goes nowhere with a class of text blue 500. Save this, not just gonna happen. So we need to type show more, show more, check it out. Okay, so let's get on do the the follow part okay so once this is that so so like under here in the last two we have before the last two div which is this one two here so here we want to have the div that is rounded we just want that's rounded large then we want a background color let's do red 500 pardon should be four good so um inside there sorry so i'm trying to figure out what we will do very quick yeah inside there we want to have a div of width with a space horizontal of four. Okay, there, so inside there we want to have a flex with justify between then space x of two. Then down there we want to have div flex again space x of two and yeah div that holds our image i'm just gonna copy my image again from there okay good then i want to have this in the grid so we want that to stay stuck on top of each other which is gonna be span font semi bold let's just do let's write the name here 
and let's copy this. So that's going to be ten. So this is going to be font ten. If I just do ads in this place, ads. Then you can say this person is promoting his his profile. So save this. And check that out. Wait for this to load up. Good. All right. So you can see that's loaded up. Okay. Um, there's something actually here that we're missing, which is the IV padding top of theory. Because look at this. There's no space here. Padding top of theory. Save this. We want the padding should be here. Okay. Good. So since we've done that, the next thing to do is the follow button. So the follow button, which is going to be like under. I think it's only under that div because I want it to be under this flex so this flex, not this flex of this flex inside here. Okay. So let's do div dot flex dot items items that dot justify center so what we just want it to be centered actually they also have button dot rounded full dot text should be black background should be like let's say white no nope. yes let's make the background white and let's do height of 10 width of width of 20 and let's do follow Save this. Check that. Yeah, well, as simple as you see, so done that. Uh, yeah, let's just duplicate it two times. So I think we started from from here. Copy this on to save. Yes. So this is it. Here. Uh, yeah, I don't need to like edit it, I can just leave it like that. Okay, good. So this is this. The last thing to do is now this message that is fixed to the bottom, just like the user profile. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So down below, down below the one, I'm trying to count two. So I feel like two, one, two. So just down here like outside this div inside this one it's still under the rounded large so under that we're gonna have div flex items should be center dot justify center so you want to have div dot so block dot the same thing we have right there we want to do rounded t so rounded top large so we want the top only the top should be rounded and the bottom should be like just straight line like this you can see you rounded top here and straight line on that okay like that they want to have bg of black so we start adding a color very soon bg of black they want a width of one over four Okay, the width is going to break up here. Let me just click enter. Okay, go width. I think one over four. Pardon of four. So as usual, it should be fixed and it should be at bottom zero and it should be Z. Z ten. Okay, good. So down they want to have div flex dot justify justify between. So justify between the one or our span, sorry, span dot fonts should be bold. Text should be extra large. Then want to have messages. Save this and let's see what we have. Good. So you can see we have it now. Nice. But we need it, we also need this icon. 
So let's go ahead and do the icon. So the icon, as you guessed it, yes, it's going to be flex. It's going to be flex also. So inside to do flex dot. We don't need anything. Flex then. We need to just grab the icon. So this is the mailbox and arrow up. This is mail with, with inbox. Inbox. I want the arrow. So let's just scroll down. Code. So save save this, and we should be having this. Nice. So we've done this already. And now let's finish up with the colors that are needed. All right. So let's do that. I want to put this at the top of here. So we have this part in this top of store. Um trying to figure out where I did something actually. The gallery flex row. So we want to have a space here, so space around them, like just space around this one. So let's save this. Let's see. Good. So this is a space I want. So then want the divide x so the line. So the line is there, we can see it. So let's just go ahead and add something we call class of DG black so, so we have background black all right then so, so we have background black here yeah, let's just start changing this to black we're going to cover this also and i'll change this to the black doesn't need any any shade just black cover this also and also this one is going to be black Save this and let's check that out. Good, you can see the online is showing. We've done this, we've done that. Now we need this. You notice that this is a different color, and this color is let's say it's in, actually it's actually doing, but we don't have it. So, how are we gonna do that? To do that is uh, simple as ABC, simple as pi. So, what we need to do is just what I did was just pick this color pick I have on my chrome and I pick the color. Then, once, once, once I did that, just follow my structure. Go to the top of like this place after the script. So after the script, all you just need to do is just grab this. Go to the documentation back. Give me the documentation. Click on place CDN. I write just the yeah, copy of this. So this is the demo configuration. So you're gonna make use of this if you use npm to install. Or, or, or but you can actually do this here. You just are supporting the content living network actually. Okay, good. So I have the color already, so I'm just gonna copy the color. You can copy it from the screen. So I'm gonna replace this with the color, and I'm gonna name this as I call box color. Okay, so I have box color, I'm just gonna copy this. Then yeah, I'm gonna open it up. It's opened already. So where I have this red, <laughs> what is this? Where I have this red, I'm just gonna copy the first color there. So where I have this red there, save, is that, save it. Fresh, even my Visual Studio takes some time to save. Like I said, it has updated here. So let's also do it for the, for the down one. Which is this one here? Save. Good. So we've gotten that. Now. The last thing to do is this one here. So let's go to the search field. Where is the search? Look at this search field. But let's do BG box color. Save. Save also. Baller, so we've done it. You can see focus makes it white. Now we've done this beautiful. So, oh, yeah, we need to just do this and we're done with that. So, for that one, um, should I, I think I check. I think I use black. 
I think I used Lark, so I'm just gonna check that real quick. Um, yes, so I used block. I'm just gonna close this. No, not that. Sorry, open the Twitter main. Open this, not this. Open this and change this to BG block. Not change, just add it. Save. Check that out. Code. So last thing I want to do is just nothing actually. I just want to refactor this code to be more clear now. Okay. Good. All right. So you can see. You can see we built our Twitter tool. All right. So let's take a look and just open up this. And let's put it right here. And uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, yeah, as a, you can see, we actually did what we want to do. And the only difference here is just the lines are way actually big. As I say, you can see, we actually did our best to clone Twitter. And yeah, if you actually like this tutorial, please don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel because it's going to help me a lot. And see you next time. Peace.